All right, Lenny, thank you very much. Well, this kind of heat can turn dangerous very, very quickly. Doctors at Novant Health want to be sure that everybody knows how to be safe if you have to be outside tomorrow. WXI 12's Maria DeBone spoke with a nurse practitioner who explained some of the dangers of heat related illness. Maria. Yeah, Patricia Williams with Novant Health said every summer around this time is when they start to see more people come in with heat related illnesses like heat stroke, heat exhaustion and heat rash. But she said there are signs to look out for before it gets worse. It's a compensatory mechanism that tries to cool itself off with sweating, etc. But when we're talking about these kind of high temperatures, many times our body is just not able to keep up. Novant Health nurse practitioner Patricia Williams said that's when beginning signs of heat related illnesses can be seen, such as faster heart rate, headaches, dizziness, fatigue, sleepiness, increased thirst, irritability, confusion, or slurred speech. Symptoms. Again, when you're starting to feel that little bit of lightheadedness, uh, dizziness, get out of the heat. Get yourself into a cooler place, whether it be a, a shaded area, better yet, even a air conditioned area. William said if you have to be outside to wear light colored clothing and drink lots of water. She said everyone should be aware of heat related illnesses, but children, the elderly and those on blood pressure medications are more susceptible. But when you're talking about temperatures of upper 90s, uh, when our body starts to heat a or when our bodies heat up to that 102, then getting up to the 103, that's when we're going to get into some major problems. So that can happen very quickly. And William said those temperatures will rise faster in a car. And to show you just how hot it can get, we have a heat radar gun here. It's 93 outside right now, but inside, if we put it on the dash that in our car that's been sitting here for a little bit, it's going up to about 126, 127 degrees. So William said it is crucial to not leave kids or pets inside. In Winston-Salem, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News.